disampaikan oleh Dr. Fabrizio. The Global Organization of Parliamentarians Against Corruption, OPEC, together with our members and partners, is working tirelessly to put an end to these crimes. Our mission to make governments more accountable and transparent is an ambitious one. GOPEC Indonesia aims to improve the capacity building of parliamentarians as well as assist and support parliamentarians in their advocacy and legislation to make governments accountable and transparent. Ladies and gentlemen, through GOPEC Indonesia, we would we collaborate taking action together to fight against corruption to make the world a better place for the generation. We are an independent UK public body sponsored by the Foreign Wealth and Commonwealth Office and the Department for International Development. Our core model is based on supporting and mobilizing skills and knowledge of all the UK legislators, but also we believe in working with other diverse European and other parliaments around the world to share best practices and exchange experiences.
So in the handbook, we've actually tried to cover off all of these issues pretty simply, but with some practical ideas. This is actually my last slide. You'll see that these are the issues we've tried to cover. And in these coming sessions, we've actually tried to uh, design the sessions to focus on these. So what you'll hear are presentations which try to pull out some of these issues for you. And we hope that during the question and answer session, you can ask questions, but also share your experiences if you have also been working in these areas or you have things that you've done under the MDG framework which you think are relevant. That's all for me, but I will obviously be here the next two days. If you'd like to give your feedback to Emily or I in the margins over tea, please feel free to come and do that as well. Thank you.
and he's one of the people who have worked against the corruption and stood up uh, against corruption. Especially the PM, Honorable Ranjitpur Singh, is very much keen in uh, transparency, uh, especially in um, uh, oversight committee, and uh, we are moving towards a bit of Western Minister uh, system. And uh, I think by 2017 onwards, with the uh, new system that we are establishing in Sri Lankan politics and uh, parliamentary system, uh, which is little bit uh, similar to West Minister, I think uh, we can uh, take the uh, uh, oversight committee to another level. Thank you very much.
Okay, so this is the wrap up of day one, but not of our full workshop. Uh, so I just wanted to reflect a little on how much we've covered today, and I think we can all be very pleased to have had a very, very full Venetian's colleague for what has been an incredibly well run day for how full this was. Thank you for all the effort you put in. We'll send you again tomorrow, but this has been very, very good. Are there any questions or final comments that you'd like to make before we adjourn for the day? No? Otherwise, thank you very much. I think that uh, we're all seeing each other for dinner tonight anyway, so we can have more discussion about the SDGs. But thank you very much for your commitment, engagement, and the exciting information you shared. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is it.
outside, just in the next room, and then we'll be back at 10, please. Thank you. Go Pack First. Okay, thanks very much, Charmaine. So, uh, I'm actually the secretary of Go Pack International. Uh, previously, our international office was in Ottawa, and we've just moved to 20 metres down the hallway here. So, Jakarta is now the international headquarters for Go Pack uh, with Enda and the team. I'd like to thank you once again for your interest in, uh, in attending this uh, workshop and I'll be 